Porto, a scientific and technical publishing system built on Pandoc, the universal file converter, was announced July 28, 2022. Created by JJ Allaire team and open source contributors at Posit, formerly known as RStudio. This is the next generation of R Markdown. It's been rebuilt to support Python, Julia, Observable, in addition to R. It supports Jupyter, Python's computational engine, Knitter, R's computational engine, and Observable. Plain text is the source. It can be executed with RStudio, NeoVim, VS Code, Jupyter Lab, and Command Line. Here's an example of what a Python file would look like in Quarto. This is what the result looks like when the Quarto file is executed using the Jupyter engine. One thing I like about this is that the source files are in plain text as opposed to the HTML seen in standard Jupyter files. Here's an example of a Quarto file using R. The overall structure of the file is the same. Quarto file specifications go in the header. To render a Quarto file in VS Code, open the command prompt with Control shift b and select Quarto Render. The result is a freshly cut document. The Quarto CLI provides flexibility in execution. Here's an example of the man page for Quarto. I use this to start new projects. It is possible to also use the CLI to render any Quarto document without needing any dedicated IDE. Here I have a fancy LaTeX equation rendered in VS Code, supported by Quarto. Quarto has a Lua-based extension system. This is a similarity Quarto has with NeoVim. Lua plugins have initiated a Cambrian explosion of useful plugins in NeoVim. I can only imagine the cool things people will create to extend Quarto.